She enjoyed an extended break over the festive season but the Duchess of Cambridge has returned to work with her first engagement on the new year today. Country girl Kate, who turned 37 last week, is visiting the King Henry's Walk Garden in Islington to see how the project brings people together through gardening and food growing. The Duchess of Cambridge was element today as she visited the community garden in North London where she was introduced to an open-air pizza kitchen. Pizza outside sounds like the coolest thing ever said Kate as she spoke to local school children as she helped to make bird feeders with them. She later added that her own children would be jealous while making pizzas with a group of school children from nearby St. Jude's and St. Paul's Primary School to make pizza which was then fired in an outdoor oven. As she rolled out her dough, chatting with a group of year four youngsters, Nate Ira, eight, asked her, has the Queen ever eaten pizza? That's such a good question, I don't know, smiled the Duchess. Maybe next time I see her shall I ask? Emboldened, her classmate Patrick, eight, said, here's my ideal question. Can I see your children? Kate replied, they would love to come and do this with you. They will be very sad that I've been out here waking pizzas with all of you and they haven't been here. They are in school. What school do they go to? Another child asked. They are in a classroom. Their school is called Thomas's. George is at a school called Thomas's. He's learning about space. Have you all learned about space? Kate was visiting the King Henry's Walk Garden to see how it brings members of the local community together through gardening and growing food. The garden has been run for more than a decade by community volunteers with support from Islington Council. It contains allotments and a firm plot to play area for children, which enables them to grow ingredients to put on their own pizzas. As she worked with them, Kate said, they are some of the best things to make, pizzas at home, aren't they? It's such fun. You can choose what to put on them, all the different toppings. Cheese and cumber. Interjected Patrick. Cucumber? exclaimed Kate. I've never had cucumber on a pizza. What would be your ideal pizza topping? she asked. Cheese and mozzarella and tomato sauce, Patrick replied. Has anyone ever put bacon on a pizza? the Duchess asked. Why would you ever put bacon next to tomato sauce? Patrick asked indignantly. Don't you think that sounds good? said Kate. I quite like that. It's like having pepperoni but not so spicy. Do you like learning outside? asked Kate. I think that's where George and Charlotte would love to be. Learning outside the classroom, not inside. It's still fun inside but it's much better outside. Kate received a gift of bird feeders from two of the children she had worked with today which she said she would put in her own garden. Thanking them she said, I love this, thank you very very much. Aren't these illustrations beautiful? I've had such a fun time. Kate cut a casual figure in a khaki tweed jacket by Irish brand Dewberry costing £399. The jacket has proven to be a hit with Kate, having been spotted wearing it while last-minute Christmas shopping in the range in Norfolk on December 24. She opted for her trademark skinny jeans for today's engagement, her go-to look when it comes to more casual occasions such as this. In light of the chilly temperatures, Kate added an extra layer in the form of a rust-colored roll neck jumper that could be seen peeking out from her jacket and ditched her signature stilettos in favor of a practical walking boot, 252 pounds, reduced from 360 pounds, by C by Chloe to Muckin with local school children. She added just a touch of bling in the form of a small pair of gold leaf motif earrings which were framed by her bouncy brunette locks, worn in loose waves today. Kate's ensemble is relatively casual compared to that of her sister-in-law Meghan who yesterday attended several community events in Birkenhead alongside Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex wore a baby alpaca coat by Canadian brand St. Haller costing more than double the price of Kate's coat at £1,085. Meghan's red wrap coat was worn over a figure hugging 107 pounds purple dress from Babbitton by Aretiza and she carried a 1,695 pounds Gabriella Hearst leather bowling bag. The garden has been run for over a decade by community volunteers, with support from Islington Council. It contains a growing plots for cultivation by local residents, 
where the use of organic gardening methods helps to promote a diversity of plants and wildlife. It also boasts a full program of educational sessions and events to engage the whole community. The garden has also helped to reduce problems such as antisocial behavior and vandalism in the area. It has subsequently received many accolades, including London and Bloom's Best Community Garden Award in 2008, 2009 and 2011, and the RHS National Certificate of Distinction in 2012. The Duchess will visit the garden to meet with volunteers from the community to hear about the benefits of this urban green space. Kate will be shown some of their allotment plots to see the impact that can be achieved in small-scale plots. She will then take part in a winter planting workshop, bird box building and pizza making in the garden's kitchen area. Kate grew up in the Berkshire countryside and relishes her time at Anmer Hall in Norfolk, the country home she owns with her husband Prince William. She has often spoken of taking her three children out into the garden to grow their own fruit and vegetables. During her visit Kate was accompanied by Andre Davis, 55, and Adam White, 45, the landscape architects that she is currently collaborating with on the RHS's official garden at the Chelsea Flower Show this year. They revealed afterwards that they had been secretly working with the Duchess for three months, emailing and speaking almost every day. They said the project to create the woodland-themed garden was a passion for Kate who had been incredibly hands-on in terms on inspiration and practical ideas for the garden. Mr. White revealed that he and his design partner had previously collaborated on a number of projects for children but had been blown away when they received a call asking them to work with the Duchess on a Chelsea garden for the first time. To us this very much about childhood memories we all spoke about our childhood memories, being outdoors and exploring nature. She was very open and has been hugely collaborative, he said. This is very much about the three of us, as co-designers. Miss Davis continued, it's very relevant. There is so much research around at the moment that shows being outdoors with nature is good for your mental health and that is a big part of the Duchess's public work. We were all on the same page to start with, we have been getting together on a regular basis. She is very hands-on, model making, emailing images coming up with all the ideas that we want to capture. She would often bring a folder of cuttings with her full of ideas. The Duchess was very keen to use natural materials, has a clear idea of the color palette she wants and her desire to incorporate the natural elements. Mr. White revealed that after the show Kate will be working with them on a garden at the Hampton Court Palace Flower Show, a permanent garden at RHS Wisley in Surrey and an as yet unnamed NHS garden. He said, the message there is that it's about sustainability and reusing materials and emphasizing the link between health and nature. He said the Duchess had brought with her the Japanese idea of forest bathing whereby even office workers go out and their lunch break into the woods to relax. The Duchess suggested bringing in this in. The challenge we all have is to create an immersive experience, to make it feel like visitors are in the middle of a woodland, he said. He said during their discussions it emerged that all three of them had read the same book, Richard Louv's Last Child in the Woods, which raises the idea of a nature deficit disorder. We all realized we wanted to raise awareness of this. How if you can grow something from seed and germinate it you can see the magic of horticulture, he explained. Another of the things the Duchess really wanted from this garden was that anyone could take something away from it and create it themselves. I think people will be surprised. This will be a garden where people can remember their childhood and maybe recreate it for their own. Go out and play in the woods or make dams in the stream. There is a really serious message to connect families and communities with nature. Miss Davis added, this generation is the one that spends more time indoors than anyone. All there of us want to get them back outside. This is the Duchess of Cambridge's first public engagement of the new year following an extended break for the festive season. Kate was last spotted attending Sunday service with Prince William on the Sandringham Estate just over a week ago but her last official engagement was back in mid-December. She and William visited the Evelina London's Children's Hospital together on December 11 making it over a month since Kate's last engagement. The Duke of Cambridge, however, returned to work last week on January 9, 
which also happened to be Kate's 37th birthday. The mother of three is thought to have celebrated her birthday with a family tea party at Kensington Palace, it has been reported. The royal is said to have wanted to keep the festivities low-key, opting for just a small gathering with her children, George, 5, Charlotte, 3, and 8-month-old Louis. The Duke of Cambridge spent part of the day at Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel, where he marked 30 years of the London Air Ambulance Service.